Hi, welcome to another Eco Sports edition of Eco Penny. This time I'm going to go to a protest at Lake Lyle protesting against the pumped hydro scheme. So Lake Lyle is about an hour away from my place in Lithgow, New South Wales, which is probably two and a half hours west of Sydney. So Lake Lyle is a popular tourist destination for kayaking, swimming, boating, fishing and just enjoying the outdoors. So this protest is a peaceful protest organised by the concerned Lithgow community group just to highlight the issue to locals and other people. So the main problem with the pumped hydro is water is going to be pumped in and out of Lake Lyle which is going to adjust the water level by metres every day. So it's going to affect the people camping there, using the recreational facilities, parking boats there. So you might park your boat on the edge of the water and then wake up the next morning and there's you know meters and meters of mud and rocks out there because the water levels receded by meters and meters. So this is going to be a problem for recreational users and tourists and also native animals like platypus live in Farmers Creek feeding into the Lake Lyle. Fluctuating water levels would be devastating for the platypus population. So what is a pumped hydro scheme, do you ask? Well, I've prepared a crude model earlier and I'll show you roughly what it involves. Welcome to my crude model. So here we have Lake Lyle. Just have to imagine there's water in here. Here's our Mount Walker, the higher point. This is the dam they're proposing to build. So it's going to be a big concrete wall on the top of the mountain. So it's going to be an eyesore, look horrible and destroy all the environment where the mountain is. This is a, an Aboriginal area too. So the First Nations people have connections to Mount Walker. So it's going to destroy all this area as well. So we're going to have this dam built here so basically what's going to happen, using renewable electricity, which is good, wind and solar, probably during the day and on a windy day, they're going to pump water out of Lake Lyle, uphill, and fill up the dam here using renewable electricity. And then what's going to happen if it's dark, at night, there's no renewable power coming from wind and solar and they need electricity, what they can do is let the water flow from the dam up here back down into Lake Lyle and I'll have a generator here with a turbine to generate hydroelectricity. So the principle is a good environmental sort of system. You're basically using the water as a battery so when you've got lots of renewable energy, you can use that to pump water uphill, store it in, in this higher dam. And then when you need electricity and there's no solar or wind available, you can let the water flow back down to generate electricity when you need it. But the problem with it, you're going to destroy Lake Lyle by pumping the water in and out, making the level change meters every day and you're going to destroy Mount Walker here with this ugly big concrete dam at the top of it. So if it was in an area that wasn't sensitive, in a lake that's not being used by anyone and there's no wildlife there, then it possibly would be a good idea, but it's just the wrong place to put it. So I hope this crude model explains it a bit better of what they're proposing. Just about to hit the kayaks for the Lake Lyle protest against the proposed hydro facility. It's going to wreck this area.
looks like we've got to follow in a convoy, so better get moving. Just done one lap, time for lap two now. So that's a protest pretty much over with, just letting the community and government know that a proposed hydro facility up pumping water from here to Mount Walker would be an environmental disaster and also a recreational disaster too. This area would be unusable if the water was going up and down. Planning to have an 80 metre high concrete dam at the top of Mount Walker, which would be an eyesore. And there's platypus population in Farmers Creek around here too. And all this recreational area will be destroyed. Thank you to all the previous subscribers and new subscribers of EK Penny. Subscriber level is up to above 300 now, which is fantastic. Good to see more people coming on board to watch the videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it highlights the issue. So if you want more information, just look up the Concerned Lithgow Community Group. Their email address will be on the screen. So it's clcgroup2790 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This protest is organised and action. So this protest is organised by the cons uh, Concerned Lithgow Community Group. So this protest is a peaceful protest organised 